Claire Carter. I'm a team leader with Us More Books and More, and today I'd like to share with you our January 2020 fiction new releases, starting with those of our kids who are just starting to read chapter books. So if they are beyond my first reading library, my favorite reading set of all time, ask me about that if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, and we move on from that to our leveled readers. So we do have several new ones. In the level one series, we have How Crab Got His Claws. This is for newer readers. We also have Anansi and the Bag of Wisdom, Anansi and the Tug of War, and then we move on to level two. We have the Runaway Pancake, which yes, is a lot like the Gingerbread Man. This is actually originally a story from Germany. You can take a look and see at the big words there. Um, we also have Scaredy Cat at level two. Level three, we have the story of Pegasus. So if you have a unicorn or Pegasus lover or a kid that loves Greek myths, level three is great for confident readers. Next up, we have Read With Us Born Black Beauty. Um, level four is a step to chapter book. So you can see there's a lot more text on here, but still some some pictures. This is really great for helping kids make that jump. We have the phonics readers. So these come right after the My First Reading Library if your child still has phonics that they're working on. So it's Susanna's Bananas. We're working on that short A sound and your children won't even know that they're doing it because they're having so much fun with the silly story. We also have a brand new phonics reader set. This one is super exciting, so you can see that there's lots of books in this one. Um, and it comes with a QR code on each book so that you can actually have the book read to your child. These are wonderful. Speaking of making a jump to chapter books, we also have these little ones by Katherine Woodfine. She's actually the author of the Clockwork Sparrow series, which is one of my favorites that we offer. These are so fun because they have a quiz at the beginning on the front flap. I'll give you the answers on the back. And this one is also great for your reluctant reader or your child that is having a hard time making the tra transition to chapter books. I love these ones because they tell real stories, um, or rather stories about real people. The stories themselves are fictional. This one's going to tell you about Rose's Dress of Dreams. It's about a real woman who went to the French royal court and actually ended up inventing hot couture. So kind of a fun book. Um, also, we have Sophie takes to the sky. This one is about a young girl who has um, some success in overcoming her fears. Before that, she's called a scaredy cat by her family. And it's based on the real life of Sophie Blanchard, who is one of the world's first female aeronauts. So amazing females is a big theme in this new release. We also have a brand new series the Extraordinary Life series. These are available individually for $5.99 each, or you can get them as a set as well for a reasonable price. You can see we've got The Extraordinary Life of Anne Frank, so it'll tell you about what her life was like, and including quotes from her diary. Um, then we also have Malala, and some of the quotes in here are just wonderful, like this one. Extremists have shown what frightens them most, a girl with a book. And that was said by Ban Ki-moon, who's the Secretary General of the United Nations. Then we have Neil Armstrong, so first man to set foot on the moon. Another great biography. Then we have The Extraordinary Life of Katherine Johnson. This is a fascinating book because it talked about how she was instrumental in discovering the trajectory that the astronauts for the Apollo mission needed to go on in order to get Neil Armstrong onto the moon. A really awesome book. We also have The Extraordinary Life of Rosa Parks. And we have The Extraordinary Life of Stephen Hawking. Again, we're continuing with great quotes as this one. My favorite one in here is, look up the stars and not down at your feet. Try to make sense of what you see and wonder about what makes the universe exist. Be curious. Each of these real life people showed courage and curiosity, all things we want to foster in our kids. Then we have another new series. This is Six Chelsea Walk. Um, this first one is Girls with a Voice and Girls with Courage. Um, these are amazing because they're set during historical time periods. There's fictitious stories and characters, but they encounter real life um, figures such as Anna Maria Mozart. Um, also, there's um, 
Florence Nightingale in this one. Um, it references things like The Charge of the Light Brigade, a poem by Tennyson. So these ones have a lot of value in them. In this one, Girls Behind the Camera and Girls for the Vote, pretty straightforward. And then you've got Girls at War and Girls on the Up. Really inspirational stories. So give you a look at what the text looks like in these guys. It's also about having courage and character. Um, things that we would love our kids to grow up with today. Next up, we have The Travels of Ermine. This one is just kind of a fun romp. It's made up of three books. So Ermine, um, who is a stoat, is going to travel through London, Sydney, and New York. Lots of pictures in this one. Lots of silliness. Definitely not a serious book by any means, but lots of fun. So Ermine is going to see all kinds of different landmarks different countries, different cities, and she's going to have fun along the way. Next up, we have Patty Hits the Court Game Day. This one happens to be written in part with an Australian basketball player. Um, so he's going to talk about how he got into basketball. It's going to be a fictional story, though. Um, so if you have a sports fan who maybe doesn't even like to read, they'll find themselves being drawn into this series. There's more than one of these guys. Speaking of new series, we have the Shine series. There are actually four in this one. It follows four friends at the Shine Academy for the Performing Arts. So you have Chloe, who's learning how to... Um, make friends and how to act at this new school. At the beginning, she starts getting attention for all the wrong reasons and has to kind of turn it around. Um, and then you have, this is book four in there, Bethany Sings Out. Um, and this one is where Bethany is on a scholarship. She's chosen to perform alongside her favorite singer, but there's a secret involved. Great book. Next up, we have Lightning Girls, a new series that we have two in. Um, it's a high voltage adventure from superstar Alicia Dixon. Um, and in this one, the girl discovers that her mom is actually secretly a superhero and that she has powers of her own. We also have a new one in our graphic novel collection, this guy. This is Alice in Wonderland. Um, I love the fact that now, right alongside Robin Hood and the Odyssey, we have a female lead in this one. Girls and guys alike will love the graphic novel. Music